Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panica Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss about for else in Python. Lot of people may be wondering what is this for else. In C programming language, we have studied about the for loop. And then we have studied the if else. There we have studied the else block. So if the condition is true, the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. If the condition is false, the statements will in the else block will be executed. So they know about the for loop, they know about the else. But what is this for else? Don't worry, I will discuss in detail about the for else. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. First, let me write a simple program for you to motivate the purpose of for else in Python. Suppose let's take that. I have a list of elements. Suppose let's take take a variable called list one, and let me take few elements such as let's take that one, two, three, twenty-three, thirty-five. Okay, these are the elements are there in the list one. Now I want to verify whether ten is there or not. Okay. First, what I will do, I will verify whether 23 is there in the list or not. So, what I will do, so for i in list 1, okay, list 1, then let me give the column. Okay, so what I want to do is that for i in list 1, okay, so I am taking a variable i and iterating over the all the elements in the list. Then what I am doing, if i is equal to is equal to 23, okay, then I want to print, let the indentation start, let me print item found or the element found. Is it clear? Whatever the element you are searching, that element was found. Now what will happen? for i in list 1. So now initially i value will be 1. 1 is equal to is equal to 23? No. So the statement which is there in the if block will not be executed. Then for i in list 1, now the element 2 will be there in the variable i. Now 2 is equal to equal to 23? No. So this condition is false. So the statement will not be executed. Now i will consist of value 3. 3 is equal to equal to 23? No. Again, this statement will not be executed. Then i is equal to 23. So 23 is equal to 23? Yes, this condition is true. As this condition is true, now you will get the output as item found. This is okay. Whenever the element is there, this will give an output for you. Now let me change the code a little bit. Instead of 23, let me give the value 10. Then what will happen as the 10 is not there? So it will compare 1 with 10, false, condition is false, 2 with 10, condition is false, 3 with 10, condition is false, 23 with 10, condition is false, 35 with 10, condition is false. So what will happen? If you execute this program, there will be no errors, but there will be no output. According to the characteristic of an algorithm, every algorithm should give at least one output that characteristic we are not satisfying here. Is it clear? See, whenever we execute any particular program, either we expert the error or we expert the output. If there are errors, we will rectify the errors and try to get the output. But if you execute this program, there will be no errors and there will be no output. If you want to give the output to the user, even if the element is not there in the list, you can modify this program. How you can modify it? You can take some variable called flag, you will initialize with the false. Okay, we have the boolean variables in Python such as true and false. False is nothing but zero. Okay, now what I will do here is that let me change the program a little bit. Whenever the element was found, I want to make the flag is equal to true. Are able to understand then I will write a program after this for loop if flag is equal to is equal to true okay then let me print 
item found else print not found okay if this is the program look at here let me take a value 3 here if i take the value 3 initially flag is equal to false okay now i will be having the value 1 1 is equal to equal to 3 the condition is false if the condition is false this statement will not be executed then i will be having value 2 now 2 is equal to equal to 3 condition is false so this statement will not be executed next i will be having the value 3 now 3 is equal to is equal to 3 now this condition is true once the condition is true this statement will be executed what is the statement flag is equal to true so you can write here true okay once you got the element you no need to verify again 3 is there or not you can add one more statement to stop it you can write the statement called break here okay are you able to understand once it is 3 is equal to 3 the condition will be true these two statements will be executed so flag will become true and then it will come out from the loop i think everyone know the purpose of a break statement whenever you want to come out from the for loop then you can use the break now the flag is equal to true so true is equal to true this condition is true so item found this will be the output now let me take a value suppose let me take 36 now 1 is not equal to 36 2 is not equal to 36 3 is not equal to 36 23 not equal to 36 35 not equal to 36 so flag will be having the value false only it will never become true and this break statement also will not be executed then flag is equal to is equal to true false is equal to true false this condition is false if the condition is false the statement which is there in the else block will be executed not found this is the way you can modify that program but in python you can write this program in a very simple way without using this flag okay if you use the flag variable the space complexity will increase if i want to reduce the space complexity of the program i will do the little modification with the help of for else okay let me discuss that one i will not use the variable called flag okay instead of that one what i will do is the so how i can modify this one is this one is correct for i in list one i want to traverse the all the elements in the list and i want to compare whether the element is list, the element 36 is there in the list or not if it is there then i will write print item found okay now else i will write with the for else print item not found okay is it clear are you able to understand even if the item is there then you can write the statement here break once the item you found you can come out from the loop is it clear so now look at here when the item is not there 36 if it is not there these statements will not be executed instead of this one this statement will be executed item not found if the element is there suppose let me take the element is 3 when the element is there 3 is there in this list so 3 will be equal to 3 after two iterations then item found and it will come out from the way so this is the way you can use the for else i hope you have understood so the same program we can do using the flags but without using the flags we can use the for else in python and this is the way you can do it whenever the element is there this state the statement which is there in the if block will be executed whenever the element is not there then the statement which are the elements or the statements which are there in the else block will be executed i hope it is very clear for you let me run this program in the jupyter notebook for better understanding now let me take a list one consists of list of elements such as 1 2 3 4 56 67 89 now i am writing a for loop for i in list one it will iterate 
with all the elements in the list 1. Then I am writing a statement called if i is equal to equal to 3, if the condition is true, I want to print a statement called item found. Now look at what will happen. Initially it will verify 1 is equal to 3 or not. 1 is not equal to 3. Then it will not execute anything. Then 2. 2 is not equal to 3. 3 is equal to 3. Then we will get an output as item found because the if condition is true. If the if condition is true, what are the statements which are there in the if block will be executed. If you want to verify, you can run this program and check we are getting the output as item found. This is fine. Now let me take a value 33 which is not there in the list. Now 1 is not equal to 33. Similar to 2 is not equal to 33. 3 is not equal to 33. So on 4, 56, 67, 89 are not equal to 33. In this case, the if condition will never be true. If the condition is not true, this statement will not be executed. If you run this program, you will not get any errors and also you will not get any output. To verify it, let me run this code. See, you are not getting any output and also no errors. Now, let me modify the program by using a variable called flag and I will initialize with false. And then I am writing, if the if condition is true, I am writing two statements such as flag is equal to true and also break. If flag is equal to is equal to true, I want to execute my statement called print item found. If the if condition is false, I want to print a statement called item not found. Now how this program will run is that if you take a value which is there in the list, then it will give you an output as item found. See, we are getting an output as item found because flag value is initially false. Now, if the if condition is true, meaning is that whatever the element you are searching is there in the list, then this condition will be true. Then these two statements will be executed. Flag will become true and then you want to break because once you got the element in the list, you don't want to traverse further with the list. So you are writing a statement called break which will be useful for you to come out from the loop. Then you are verifying flag is equal to equal to true or not. If it is true, it will give you an output as item found. Otherwise, it will give you an output as item not found. Let me take a value some 36. 36 is not there in the list. So if you execute it, you will get an output as item not found. Now let me modify the program little bit by using the for else. Okay, so for i in list 1, then what I will do is that I will print a statement called item found. If the element is not there, whatever the element you are searching, if it is not there, then I want to write an else block and there I have to execute a statement called item not found. Look at here, the element 36 is not there in the list 1. Then this if block, the condition will be false. So this if block statement which is item found will never be executed. Then it will come to the else block and item not found. So this is what the for else. Look at and verify what the output you are getting. You are getting the output as item not found. I hope it is very clear for you. If you still have any doubts related to the for else, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.